Hey, if you like to walk your rounds of golf and you either carry your clubs or you use a push cart, or maybe you have an electric caddy that's outdated, maybe doesn't have any of the newest and latest and greatest features on it, I want you to watch this video all the way to the end because I have something really special to go over in a full review of an electric caddy that's gonna blow your mind. The company MGI, and if you've seen any of my other stuff, you know I'm a big fan of their carts as they're so durable and they are some of the best on the market. They have just debuted their newest and latest and greatest cart called the Navigator AI GPS Plus unit. This unit is very unique to MGI and it brings in some of the great features they've had. They've redesigned some of the features that I think they were lacking a little bit in some previous models that I'm gonna show you. And I absolutely love some of these changes that have been made. And this cart is gonna be great for a lot of people. While we were hoping that this model was gonna have the follow you mode and some other things, it does not, but we have a great price point on this model and some huge, huge features that are new to the industry. So we're gonna talk all about the features that this does have. We're gonna get a full breakdown from the company itself. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, Brian Z, PGA Professional with Golf Intel here. I have a video to show you from the PGA show on the Navigator unit, which is just a powerhouse. It is so cool, I cannot wait. And I'm gonna show you my interview with the Vice President of Sales with MGI, and he's gonna walk us through all the features and benefits of this unit. And then at the end of that piece, I'm gonna show you my top takeaways that you need to know about this unit and whether or not it's right for your game because it is an investment. And it, after that, if you want to go ahead and order one, we will have a link in this description where you're gonna get a great deal on these units as soon as they are ready to ship. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to my friend Bill with MGI and he's gonna walk us through this awesome unit. Take it away, Bill. So the MGI Navigator AI is a major advancement in technology in the electric caddy category. And so I want to show you some of the features and benefits of why it's something desirable for the people that want to walk or love walking and want the exercise and the benefits of walking. Uh, this is the AI in its folded stage. Okay, so it's very easy to pull out of your trunk, out of the front seat of your car. We can actually make this even smaller by inverting the wheels. So in terms of putting this away in a small storage area, you have a lot of room here. So when you want to set this up, it's a really, it's a one-step process. You're pressing the, the blue button here and that's going to release your handle and it just comes up just like so. Now, with it still in its spot here, you're able to adjust the height of the handlebar to the optimum level of where you want it to be. I'm gonna put it in the top level here and then lock it into place with your top bar. And I'm gonna turn it on now. So the battery, the difference between the AI from the Navigator is the battery is now situated more in the middle of the chassis. The center of gravity is much, much better. So stability around the golf course is at an optimum level now because the cart just won't tip over at all. You've distributed some weight from the back where it might tip Correct. backwards. In the yeah, so we do have a fifth wheel. So we've counteracted that with the Navigator and the AI with a fifth wheel. We still do provide the fifth wheel, but it is more for very steep terrain, but it's much more stable now than it was before. I noticed you've got the dual wheels. Correct. Here now, which was, which was only on a specific model. Yeah, on the AT yeah. here. Now it's not as wide as the AT. We just don't need it because the chassis is not as long as the Navigator. So it's a little more condensed chassis than from who we did before. 39 pounds. At versus the, the Navigator at? 37 and a half pounds. Okay, so almost the same. Pretty similar. Just with a few, few more things inside because we got a lot more going on in technology. There's just a few more things going on in there. So I turned on the battery. If we were outdoors, this is a GPS generated screen. So it's going to find itself you know, where it's at and we'll be giving you what courses you're closely located to. But because we're indoors, I'm just gonna put this in demo mode for us so it can kind of show you how we do this. So we're gonna go into demo mode. So you don't have to pay for courses or anything like that? No, no, this is all free of charge. So let's say we're in San Diego and we're in the parking lot at Torrey Pines. This is what it would look like. So whatever course you're gonna to go to, it's gonna say, it looks like you're right at Torrey Pines, but then also, 
maybe you're somewhere different. So it's going to give you quite a few showings of golf courses just in case. So obviously, let's say we're going to play the Torrey Pine South. We're going to press that. Okay. And it's going to, it's going to ask you to give an update on the golf course. This generally take about two to three seconds because maybe there's an update on a bunker or a green update. I'm just going to skip it because we are heading to the T. And so we're going to go straight to the T and here we are. So this is the first hole at Torrey Pines. This screen is very interactive. So you see your, your crosshairs here. You're able to kind of go, all right, how far is it to the bunker on the left? How far is it to the bunker right? It's going to give you your distance to there as well as your distance to the green, to the center of the green. So mm -hmm. it's going to give you a lot of information. Blue, yellow, red, obviously, is your back, mid, and your front. Of the green. Of the green. You also have these icons here. This icon here, if you wanted to find out how far you are actually going to hit your drive, once you hit your drive and you're going to leave the T, you press that, and that was going to measure how far you went off the T, and it'll give you, hey, you hit it 250 yards or what have you. So that's that moniker there. Let's say you hit your shot in the middle of the green or the middle of the fairway. You want to see what the green view looks like. You hit your green icon, and now it's going to give you the description of the green. And you can also get very accurate where the pin place was. It's always going to start middle, middle, but if you know where it's going to be, you can also find out how far is it to get over the bunker or short of the bunker. It's going to give you all that information for you, just like you do on a golf cart. Sure. You just, if you think of the golf cart and what you get on that screen, you're getting it here on an electric caddy now as well, cool. as well as tracking. You're able to track your stats. So when you're done with the hole, you can track your score, put it in. How many putts was it? Fairway. Did you hit it left? Did you hit it in the fairway? Did you hit it right? All that can be saved and logged in and you'll have that. The more you put in, the more it's going to tell you percentages of what your golf game is. We'll have more stats loaded on here as we become available. Okay. That's the software of the caddy. You have a menu. You got your play golf. The way what we just did, there's a golf venue here. You know, if you're maybe for someone that's in the Canada or something, you got a meters yards. You know, if you're a man or woman, you can say it's a woman. So it's going to always start from the ladies tee for you. Put in your handicap. That's your scorecard that you can load as you play. Round summary. Let's say you're at a course and they did just have an update, you know, with a new box or a bunkering. You can actually press change course and that will actually go to iGolf, which is the software company that designed us. And they will do an update for the course within seven days. So you have a lot of information here to use. Your Wi-Fi connect, there's a Bluetooth connect. If you're going to play competitive round, it will take the yardages, you know, off there if you wanted to still use. So why would, why would you need the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi? So the Wi-Fi, obviously, when you have an update, so it's like, just like your iPhone. So just think of this as an iPhone update. Bluetooth is for your phone. Let's say you want to put your phone in your bag, but it will also, if you connect with the Bluetooth, the screen will tell you if you have a phone call from somebody or a text message or an email, it will come up on the screen and let you know. What's okay. going on? So you just have quite a few different options, you know, on the AI itself. Okay. You have a manual mode where you just press this button and it will just immediately go for you. And you're just literally steering it. You also have your uh, remote control here and I'm going to turn it on and it takes about three seconds. Looks a uh, lot slimmer than the old. It one. is much slimmer, more, more squared. When it turns solid blue, that means it's synced. And you can start the remote control here. So I don't want to take anybody's knee out. So, but it, it will work just like the navigator. Any change in that remote, you know, I've had, I've had that remote either in my pocket or on my belt. Mm -hmm. I bent over and hit a button. Correct. So unbeknownst to me. I think that's why we, that's why we've kind of slimmed this down, made it a little easier to clip on. I don't have it on here, but this clip is where the remote right. will be on. You see it on this yeah. AI here. So that's going to be where the, where the uh, remote can stay. It, it might be just easier to just kind of slide it on top of that. All right, so we're back with the top things that you need to know about the cart. Thank you to Bill for giving us that great overview of the Navigator AI. It's super cool. As you can see, there's a lot of great features. I want to tell you the top things. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video with a thumbs up and a bell notification so you see all the videos that we come out with in the future. We really appreciate that. So onward and upward. So number one of the top things that I think you need to know about this golf cart is the weight distribution. He kind of went over it a little bit, but if you can see in the zip navigator that I've got here, this is the battery right here. 
and this is on the back of the cart. So if this does ever tip on you, which has been very rare, especially with the fifth wheel they have, it will tip this way. You can see it can definitely do this. So they've taken all that weight from that battery right there, and they've put it in the middle of the chassis, which is huge. And the other piece combined with that is the wheels. So these two wheels up front are much wider than what you see here on the Zip Navigator, which this is the best cart they've had to date prior to the AI coming out. So between the battery weight moving into the middle of the chassis and the wider two wheels up front, the AI is just never gonna tip, in my opinion. I don't see how it could possibly could. It's gonna be very, very stable. You're never gonna have to worry about it. That's number one. Number two is the LCD screen. So if you can see on the screen here, we have a very, very small screen on the Zip Navigator no GPS or anything like that. So it's basically just for miles per hour, how many miles you've had the cart going, battery levels, that kind of thing, very basic stuff. And in the AI model, you can see the screen looked like a cell phone. It's got the GPS on it, which is huge. The remote is way smaller. It's probably half the size of this one, and it's gonna be much more sleek, much more unnoticeable when it's on you. So the other thing, You've got the GPS right on the unit, and I think that's cool. Like if you're in a golf cart at a good golf course where it's got the GPS in front of you, it's very, very handy. And now you're gonna have it on the cart as well. So you can go ahead and touch the screen to find out how far you are from a bunker. Like if you're in the trees or you wanna punch out and you wanna know how far it is across the fairway, those kind of things, it's just a touch of the button. It's gonna follow along with you. And I think that is a huge, huge benefit to that new unit. I think that's just gonna make pace of play much better and it's gonna give you everything you need to know, front, middle, back on everything. How far to clear a bunker, you don't have to wear an extra watch or another unit or anything. So I think that's a huge, huge piece. The GPS will make it smarter as course changes happen. There's 39,000 golf courses that are loaded on there for free and you don't have to pay for anything. So. I hope those top things show you how great this card is gonna be. I'm so impressed and I can't wait to get it and do a complete video on the golf course and show you exactly why it's such a great thing. And walking is really the best way to go on the golf course. It's better than carrying your own clubs or pushing the cart. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, subscribe, give us a like and a thumbs up and a bell notification so you see the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Brian Z for Golf Intel. We'll see you in the next video.